My name's Mike Hazlitt. I'm the owner, operator of Greenlight Cinema. We're a kind of a classic independent movie theater in downtown St. Pete. We do independent films, foreign classics, and documentaries. So I had a long career running theaters up in New England and, and um, more performing arts theaters, but at one of the theaters I had, had uh, booked film. And so my wife and I moved down here about seven years ago and we were wandering around the city going, Where, why isn't there an independent movie theater? And um, I, you know, for me it was, why doesn't a city as vibrant as St. Pete have something like this? It's a really, it, it's a, for me it's a vital aspect of a really vibrant city is to have an independent movie theater. You know, we have 80 seats. We really try to focus on, on the content and we try to bring the best content that we can to the community because I still, I, at the end of the day, it's these films are important. This is art that we're putting up on the screen and this stuff matters. We're showing films now. Our lineup is a lot of stuff that's gonna be nominated for Oscars. People say to me all the time, no, you know, Hollywood isn't making good movies anymore. And I say to them, come to Greenlight Cinema. We, we show really remarkable films and there are wonderful films being made. And, and um, that's why we did this, because somebody should bring this. A community like this should have an outlet to see this kind of content. One of the challenges of the last two years is obviously COVID, you know, decimated the business. And, and, and into that was the streaming services. And one of the things that we kind of find that's happening is that we have to kind of introduce theatrical versus streaming. There is a much, there's a huge difference between watching a film in your living room and watching it um, in a movie theater. I mean, we had a film called Moon Age Daydream, which is the David Bowie uh, documentary. And we're in here screening the film and the whole time I'm watching it is like, this is a completely different film in your living room, right? It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an immersive experience. I think we have to kind of inter reintroduce that to people. People sat on their couches for two years and I think they kind of forgot about it. That's part of the challenge of this is to remind people that for technical reasons, but also for kind of community reasons. You want to go to the movie theater, you want to meet people in the lobby, have a drink, talk about the film after. We, we do talkbacks occasionally where we bring people in to talk about film and what does it mean and what, that kind of thing. And so I think that that's part of the challenge of going forward post COVID is that people have kind of forgotten what it's like to go to the movie theaters. Yeah, so one of the things that we've done because of COVID, and it was always kind of my plan, but um, we've done it a lot deeper than we thought we were gonna do, which was to use the space for other things, right? The best tool that I have is this space. So we're doing stuff with the film festivals. We're, we do private events. We have, uh, we're doing live improv. We're starting a storytelling um, a night, one, one night a week. And then the best, you know, the best collaboration, we, we got together with local actor Eugenie Bondurant and she does her acting studio here. And in fact, we're starting uh, this week, we have something like 80 acting students. So it's been a wonderful collaboration. It's been so helpful for us on so many levels. And, um, you, know, the, you know, the bottom line here is I was always gonna do those kind of things, um, but it was always gonna be kind of the frosting on the cake. And so the frosting's great, but the movie business is, remains challenging because of COVID and the kind of changes that came, meaning i.e. streaming, that um, have really changed this business uh, radically in the last two years. Cinema is an art form, and what we're doing is trying to bring the films that make people think a little bit differently or experience something or cultures or peoples that they wouldn't experience. And I think that's an important thing for a community. And so that's what we're trying to do here. This has been a challenge doing this in, in COVID and, and with the way the, the movie business has changed in the last two years. But we hung in there, we're still here. We do wonderful films, we do interesting programming. Come down and visit us, you'll love it.